Hello everyone. 안녕하세요. Welcome to u n e p Korean class. Today, I will give you some useful tips about consonants. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. Tip number one. For the accurate pronunciation, I think it will be helpful to know the feature of each consonant. Korean consonants are categorized into three parts, such as plain, aspirated, and tense. The tense consonants will be covered in the next class. So today we will talk about plain and aspirated. Take a look at this table. And the letters in orange are planes. G, d, b, s, z. They are pronounced without any special effort or skills. However, when you pronounce aspirated one, the air is burst. Look at the letters in green. K, t, p, ch are aspirated. Do you remember what I said the last time? When you add a stroke, the sound gets stronger. I mean, k, t, p, ch, the aspirated sound, were formed by adding strokes to the plain g, d, b, z. To test this, please prepare a paper and put a paper in front of your mouth and say pa, pa, the paper flutters. How about pa, pa, nothing happened. And the more important thing is you should pronounce it faster than the counterpart planes. For example, k, k, d, T, b, p, z, t. Can you feel the speed? And please look at this. The pink h at the bottom. And h is not classified because it is recognized as sometimes plain, sometimes as aspirated. According to the scholars. And the blue, n, m, n, are also not classified because they are nasal sounds. Like that, the purple l is liquid sound. Tip number two. Until now, I explained the consonants based on the principle of creation. But in fact, consonants are in order, like A, B, C, D. Unlike English, the order is very important because it will help you later when you study pronunciation rules. I think reading it aloud will help you memorize. Could you repeat? G, N, D, L. Okay, the first of all. And then, M, B, S, N. Rest. Z, Z, K, T. And P, H. Do you remember these four? are aspirated. I highly recommend adding it to a song like A, B, C, D. You can make your own song. The third tip. I have a quick question. How do you feel when I write A like this? Ignoring the order. Maybe uncomfortable. Yes, right. And so, and also, 
there is a fixed way to write down Korean letters. The main rule is left to right and top to down. It's the same as in English. Let's write them together. And if you don't have a paper or a notebook, and you can write in the air. It will be fun. Let's start from good. Okay. Left to right and down. Good. And then n. Top, down, and right. Good. And then d. Left to right, stop. And then down, right. Good. And then l. It is a little bit complicated, but I love this attractive letter. It's a g first, and then left to right to stop, and then n. Good job. And m. Do you remember? It's a square, top, down, and then curve down, and left to right. Yeah. <laughs> And then next one, I love it. This one, long, long, and then short, short. That is b, b. And next one, left first, and then right. That is s, s. And then from the top, make a circle. That is n. Good. And j, left to right, and then curve down. And one more stroke. Good. That is j, j. And next one is a ch. It's a getting stronger, so we need one more stroke on the top, and then the same process. Okay, ch. And k. Is the sister of g, so g first, and then add one more stroke. And then t, also the sister of d, so d first, left to right to stop, and then down, right, and one more stroke. Good. And the last two is p, p, the sister of b, so that is long, short, short, and long. And the last consonant is h, h. It looks like a hat, and we need one short and one long stroke, and then from the top, make a sucker. That is h. Great. So now, let's check together. Here, k, n, d, l, good, m, b, s, n, z, ch, k, t, p, h. The first tip. Later. You can see different types of letters in case of z, ch, and h. This is on the top. This is horizontal line and vertical line. And also, look at the bottom. And it's slightly different. Yes? But it doesn't make any difference at all. All these variants are one letter. It's not print and script or capture and small letter in English. There is only one type in Korean. So it just depends on people's preferences. Tip number five. And also, like English alphabet, A, B, C, Korean consonants have their own names. Kyok, Nyeon, Tigut, Lear, and so on. But in this KFL environment, I mean Korean as a foreign language course, 
I will just mention the letters as their sound to make it easier. So you don't need to memorize all the names. Quiz time. Okay, let's try to guess the words. It shows consonants only because we didn't study vowels yet. Look at the bottom. There are two syllable words starting B and C. What is that? Yes, it's bus or boss. Like this, think of the other three words as well. If you have any words, whether in English or your language, please leave a comment. It will be interesting. And next class, we will check it together. Today, we checked some supplementary explanations about 14 consonants and the Korean writing system in general. Next time, we are going to study 5 tense consonants. Have a nice day. 안녕히 계세요.